Hey, what's going on? Builders Kurosama here, and today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the Earth 3 Gundam. This is uh, like a fairly unique mobile suit, I should say, because of the fact that it has a very small, not necessarily an SD, but it's, I guess, a somewhat of a super deformed mobile suit, but it's, it's a very small mobile suit that has parts attachment, so it's kind of like something of the age, or even like the strike style, where it has all these different armaments, and it's pretty cool, but yeah, it's it's definitely unique, I would say, and this is from the Build Divers Re-Rise series uh, that just recently came out, and, you know, I, honestly, the show wasn't horrible, but I don't think it was that great. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the box art. So right here in the corner, we are going to have the core Gundam, which, you know, looks pretty good. In the anime, I actually loved it. I love this way more than the completed suit. So I'm very excited to go ahead and build this and just see exactly what the posability and everything is going to be like. And then you're going to have the little, I don't know what you would call this. It's like a, a, a jet fighter, something like a core fighter in a way, but... I don't know, it just basically carries all the different parts uh, to make the Earth 3 Gundam, but it is by itself a uh, kind of like a jet pilot, like a jet, um, I don't know, like a vehicle. So eh, it's kind of interesting. Definitely would like to see that as well. And right here, we're going to have the Re-Rise logo with the high grade right there. Um, I think overall, the Earth 3 doesn't look horrible. I think it looks fairly decent. Um, has a age vibe to it, but I know the core Gundam should be the RX-78-2, which personally I don't see. I, I don't think I see anything that resembles it. Maybe except for like, what, what do they call these? The magnetic, I don't know, like magnetic parts over here uh, on the corner of legs. I think that's the only thing I'm like, oh yeah, I can see that being Gundam. Whereas everything else, it screams Gundam Age to me. So, eh, it kind of is what it is. And it's their release in 2019. They don't show the listing price right here, but it goes for roughly around eh, about like $17, $19. Now, before looking at the rest of it, I do want to say if you want to pick up this kit, you can go to newtypehq.com. Um, I'm not too certain if they're going to have it up right now because they stopped doing pre orders. But if you go ahead and just like wait around, you know, definitely subscribe to their newsletters, uh, follow them on social media. You should be able to find when they're going to actually post the uh, Earth 3 Gundam when it's in stock. And just make sure you pick it up from there and use that promo code Krosama so that way you can get 10% off. And this is going to be number one in the High Grade Build Divers R line. And on the side of the box, we're going to have the Core Gundam and the Earth Armor looking really nice, uh, pretty much posed together. So this is something I'm kind of thinking is like, I'd rather just have the Core Gundam and then the Earth Armor just like in that little state instead of having the full Earth 3. And of course, you can combine both of them and I guess is the planet system. I, I, I'm To be honest, man, I don't know what's going on with this. It's just this dude has like all the planets and... He has armors for him, and uh, to be honest, like most of them look alike. Just they have different weaponry. Uh, but this is going to be all the weapons. You're going to have the shield, beam sabers, and you got the uh, rifle. And I mean, the rifle looks really good. The shield looks okay. I'm not really too uh, into it. But you're also going to have the. Uh... So man, look at this. This is. Wow, man, what was the anime that had that? Oh yeah, it was Build Fighters. So Build Fighters also had the gimmick to where he combined the shield over to his beam rifle and it just basically powered up. I mean, God, this is this is definitely not something that, um, you know, is very much original. A lot of this is just kind of taking features and aspects from other different lines of mobile suits and different animes and just, hey, make it all right here. But and it kind of is what it is. And you're going to have beam sabers. You're going to have a small one. You're going to have a large one, which is uh, pretty cool. And then right here, they're doing some, uh, I don't know, some Kamen Rider stuff where you can have like half and half. Me personally, I'm not going for that aesthetic unless he does it in the anime, then I might be a little more into it. Uh, but I'm probably going to just keep him, I'll probably keep the uh, Mars 4 as is, and then the V2, not really too sure what I want to do with that. Here you're going to have a front and rear shot, and you can read a little bit of the story. Alright, so I'm going to start with runner B1. This is going to be all the white parts, and eh, nothing really too stand out on here. I mean, you're going to have the shield, you're going to have the uh, some backpack parts, so it looks really good. It is going to be a nice little white. I think it's coming off a little bit darker on the camera, but yeah, it's pretty much your uh, your normal shade of white. And here we're going to have is Runner C. So Runner C is going to have all of your inner frame parts. Uh, you're going to have the hands right there as well, which has a weird split. That's uh, I know like a lot of older mobile suits um, like had that kind of split right there, uh, whereas it was already like pretty much the fingers were all together. Uh, you just had to put the back, I guess, armor part on, but yeah, it's all right. 
And otherwise, all this looks good. You're gonna have the uh, beam rifle right there. You got parts for the shield, uh, parts for the chest, and the backpack for the core Gundam. Uh, looks good though. And here we're gonna have his runner D. So there's gonna be parts for the jet. Uh, you are gonna come with a stand for this, and it's going to have some other little cool little parts, like underneath the feet. You're gonna have those little thrusters right there. Uh, I think this is part for the shield, and yeah, just some uh, other little parts that's just going to go on this kit. And lastly, you're going to have Runner A, which is going to be all your main parts. So I'm not seeing a large amount of detail in any of this. It's just kind of like more flat and plain. So for all my scribers out there, I mean, you're going to have a good time just scribing in some parts. Uh, maybe even doing some, uh, some you know, color separation with different parts here and there, doing some off colors. But yeah, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's a pretty small kit, to be honest. So cannot wait to get this built. And you can get some beam sabers, and for whatever reason, mine is all kinds of warped. I don't know how this became. Maybe it was in the heat or something, but yeah, I mean, it's an easy fix, but geez, this is, uh, this is how mine was packaged. You're going to have some polycaps and a very small sticker sheet. And here's going to be the manual. And if you want to read some of this information, you definitely can. Uh, it's going to have information on pretty much all aspects of this, the uh, Earth 3, the core, uh, the main character, and just the update for GBN. So nothing too special on the inside of the manual, but here on the back, you are going to just see some cool little stuff, uh, some nice little action poses, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And they're just going to advertise once more that, hey, you can combine this with a whole bunch of other stuff if you really want to. Uh, but like I said, I am going to just wait and see what it's like in the anime. Uh, I think episode three is going to have... Is it Mars 4, I believe? I think Mars 4 is going to be next. So we'll definitely see. I already have the V2 parts. I just need to go out and get the Mars 4 weaponry. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, my thoughts on this is that I think the anime is okay. I'm not looking forward to each epi you know, episode, but I'll watch it when it comes out. So that's it for me. Definitely be seeing y'all in the review. Bye-bye.